Welcome to my channel where we cover the lore of Final Fantasy XIV. We cover the stories both big and small, the epic and the cute, the silly and the tragic. I hope you all enjoy the ride and welcome to the Chronicler of Lore. Hello everyone, it's that time of year again, heaven's turn, where people set goals like losing weight or saving money that they break within the first 48 hours and then make excuses for why they need to postpone those goals for another 363 days until the year changes again because everyone knows you can't make changes on any day other than the beginning of the year. Wait, I'm mixing up New Year's in the real world with heaven's turn. Those are two completely different things, sort of. Heaven's Turn is a yearly celebration that marks the beginning of the new year on Hydaelyn, but each region celebrates it differently. In Eorzea, one of the twelve is chosen at the start of the year to watch over the realm for twelve moons, or months. For this year, that member of the twelve is Azima. The people of the Far East have one of the totem animals take that role, and this year that animal is the Torah, or the tiger, which is the center of the festival for this year. In Limsa Lamensa, the Warrior of Light is stopped by Torah Bugyo. He thinks you look like someone who can handle herself, which makes you perfect for what he needs. He came to Eorzea as a part of a group sent from Hingashi to take part in the Heaven's Turn celebration. He learned how the Eorzeans believe that the gods choose one of their own to bring in the good fortune of the new year. In the Far East, one of the twelve great beasts fills that role, and for this year is the tiger, which is why he's wearing a tiger headdress. Normally they celebrate the event with a bit of mochi pounding, but that doesn't really represent the mighty tiger in the way that shows his true power. Torabugyo has something in mind that an experienced adventurer would be perfect for, if you're up for it. Whether you accept or not is irrelevant as usual because two of Bugyo's colleagues show up and immediately think you're perfect for the task that you don't even know what is. Granted, you don't even know who they are either. They are a clan of mages who have come to perform the ritual to calm the forces of evil. It sounds complicated, but it's just a performance of an old story about a ferocious tiger meant to please the gods. The mages will use their magic to give life to the image of the tiger and you'll play the role of the fierce warrior who goes around and beats it up. It's not like fighting is something the warrior of light doesn't do for fun, so she heads to Lenosha where the mages summon an imitation of Biako that tries as hard as the real one to kill you while a group of people cheer for the show. The show you put on makes the mages think back to Tenzin, the great warrior who the story that you just reenacted was based on. A small part of it anyway, which means you have done your part to make this year's Heaven's Turn celebration a success, which of course means they'll definitely get you to do it again next year. This concludes the story of this year's Heaven's Turn celebration. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe and ding that notification bell. And if you want to buy me a coffee for my work, sign up to become a member of the channel. Until next time guys, later. <laughs>